Hey guys, it's Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional. It's a new week and a new study. We're going to take a look at Psalms 23 and uh, break it down this week. You know, it's kind of like a, a good run in the cutting horse pen. Uh, whenever that happens, everything has to come together. Your horse has to be good. You have to be in the right place, sitting just right, doing all the right things. You have to cut the right cows. The ground has to be good. Your help has to be in the right place. The judge has to see it is good in order to mark you properly. All these elements have to work together. Well, it's kind of the same thing with the Word of God. When we take a look at things, we can't just take bits and pieces of the Scripture out and use it, but we've got to look at the whole thing. And that's why I want to do this this week. I want to break that, take the whole chapter of, of uh, uh, Psalms 23, break it all down, and, uh, and see how this works and marks us a 75 or a 76. No, probably actually mark us an 80, the highest score you can get in cutting. And, um, but anyway, Psalms uh, chapter 23, verse 1, it starts out like this. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. That alone, just that alone speaks volumes. It says the Lord is my shepherd. Now in the Hebrew, that means Jehovah Rohi. Jehovah Rohi says God who is a shepherd. He's my shepherd. And um, <laughs> the Bible many times refers to us as sheep and him is the shepherd and um, when you have an understanding about how a sheep relates to his, his uh, the, the shepherd we hear his voice we follow him we trust him we uh, have our confidence in him and everything so that's the way we are with God well there's several places passages in scripture that talks about him as our uh, Jesus as our shepherd First of all, it talks about the good shepherd. It's found in Matthew chapter 11. I'm sorry, Matthew chapter 10. Boy, am I having problems finding this Bible. Uh, Matthew 10 and verse 11. It says, I am, and this is in red letters, so it's Jesus speaking. I am the good shepherd. Why is he good? He says, because the good shepherd gives his life for his sheep. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Jesus is the good shepherd who came to give his life for you and I. If nothing else, that alone should just have us running in circles and jumping for joy. Why? Because our shepherd loves us so much he gave his life for us. But then we find also that in Hebrews chapter um, 13, verse 20, it says, Now may God... Uh, may the God of peace who brought up our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead, not only did he give his life for us, but then God the Father raised him from the dead and resurrected him. And it says, um, and raised him from the dead, that great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant. So he's the resurrected great shepherd. In Matthew, it says he's the good shepherd who gives his life. But in Hebrews, it says that he's the great shepherd who was resurrected on behalf of us. Glory to God. We have a God that, that is alive and well, that overcame death for you and I. And then finally, in 1 Peter chapter 5, and looking at verse 4, it says, And when the chief shepherd appears you will receive the crown of glory that does not fade away. When the chief shepherd, not only is he a good shepherd, not only is he a great shepherd, but he's the chief shepherd. Why? Because he's victorious. And when he reappears, it says he will give us a crown of glory that does not fade away. Once again, folks, I can just tell you, the God we serve is awesome. Now let's go back to to uh, Psalms chapter 23 verse 1 because it goes on to say the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want what does that mean well again he's not only a good shepherd he's not only a great shepherd he's the chief shepherd and watches out for the 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 sheep watch this in it says in the Gospels it says that God knows our needs before we ask but it says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 it says uh, or is it 13? 13 or 19? It says that he supplies all of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Again, 
Remember, he's a good shepherd, a great shepherd, and a chief shepherd. He supplies our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Hey, we're going to pick this up tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.